What's up, Wayne Baron here with Targetpix.net, and we are sort of a W Edge Animate CC and jumped over to the Facebook page for Edge Animate, and they had a lesson up there that was done in Italian, and it was for using the swipe feature within a W Edge Animate CC. And uh, so uh, this is done in Italian, as I said, so I'm going to do one in English. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's create a new composition, and let's set this at 400. That way it's a 400 by 400. And let's come down and set this at 40. Alright, so let's go ahead and save it. So we're going to save it into here. We're going to overwrite this file right here. And so now it's going to pick up on our images. Get rid of the paint on. Alright, so now let's go ahead and drag our images on. Got this first one. And we're going to make the constraints. We're going to set this at 356. We're going to go ahead and set it in the center. And then we're going to grab a hold of our next image in line. We're going to set this at 356. And then our next image. Set this one at 356. Next one. Oops. 356. And then our next one. Strain at 356. And then we are actually going to copy our first image, which is Command or Control C, and then we're going to paste it, Command or Control V. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that we've got some distance between each one of our images, and that all looks good. Select everything, right click, and let's go to Distribute, Horizontal Center. And then distribute once more to vertical center. And that right there was, will align it for us. Okay, now with everything selected, that is Control or Command A. And then let's right click and convert to a symbol. And we're going to name this slider. Auto play, click OK. Alright, so let's move this over a little bit. And we want to go ahead and set a keyframe for our X axis. Move out to the half second mark, hold down the shift key, and then drag to the next image. Hold, then move over to the one second mark, hold down the shift key, drag to the next one, and then basically repeat the same process until you get to the very last image. Okay, so now we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of it. We're going to uh, hit Control T to bring open our command. We're going to hit Stop, I mean, bring open our triggers. And then we're going to do that for each image. We're going to stop at each image. Then whenever we get to the very end, we are, we are going to stop at zero. And what that's going to do is that that is actually going to run the image back or run the playhead back to the beginning. And so let's go ahead and stop. Get rid of the paint on. Don't know why it's doing that. It's really annoying. Okay, and the last thing that we want to do is we want to come over here to our slider. Click on open actions. Come down to swipe left or swipe right, depending on which one that you want to do. We're going to do swipe left because we got all of our images coming in from the right to the left. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do play, and then it's automatically going to play it. So now we're just going to hit control enter, let it load for a second. Come over here, do a gentle swipe for each one of our images. Then we come to the very first one again, and then we swipe it. Okay, well that's it. So uh, I appreciate the lesson there, Favor 04. And uh, all right, Wayne Baron here with Darkflakes.net. Y'all have a rocking time now. Bye-bye.